Let's create the swing animation using rigid body constraint in Blender. First select the cube and go into edit mode. Model it into a plank shape like this. Next go to the physics tab, click on rigid body, set the type to active and change the shape to mesh. Now duplicate the model, shape it like this to form the other parts of the swing. Then press shift A, add a cube empty, adjust its shape and place it here. Now add a UV sphere, go to the edit mode, scale it down, then back in the object mode, move it upward like this. Next add a sphere empty and position it here. Now select the sphere, go to the physics tab, enable rigid body, set the type to passive and change the shape to mesh. Then select the sphere empty, go to the physics tab, enable rigid body constraint, change the type to point, then in the first object field, select the sphere and in the second object field, select the small cube object. If you hit play now, the small cube will swing, but the rest of the structure might fall. To fix that, select the cube empty, go to the rigid body constraint, keep the type to fix, choose the small cube as the first object and plank as the second. Also select this cube empty and the cube after it, then press ctrl p to parent them. Now select the top object, then the bottom two and press shift d to duplicate it. Press x to move them along x axis and align them side by side. To fill the gap in the between, add a bezier curve and place it like this. Make sure the origin point is at the bottom of the curve. Then go to the curve properties, under geometry, bevel, increase the depth value to give it thickness. Now select the curve, then the plank object and parent it. Duplicate the curve and move it to side like this. Then hit the spacebar to play. If nothing happens, just select all the objects and rotate or move them slightly to kickstart the simulation using gravity. Then hit play again. Now your swing animation is working. For the final render, I made some changes to the model and added a few extra objects for the environment. Also the materials are nothing fancy, just a basic node setup. And for the world lighting, this is the no setup I'm using. Finally, go to the scene properties, click on rigid body, expand cache, and hit bake all dynamic. And that's it, your swing animation using rigid body constraint is ready to render. Follow Art of V for more.